Hi friends, Tina did it here and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to share this DIY with you. It's this mini bench that I made for my front porch for the fall. I will definitely be playing around with this and adding more decoration to it, but I'm super excited to share this one with you. I made this using mostly Dollar Tree items and it cost me less than $10 to make. So if you want to see how I made this, just keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with this long piece of wood that I have from an old dresser that I was going to toss out. But you could always use these long boards from Dollar Tree. They have these currently in the fall section in the seasonal aisle. And um, you can glue two or three of them together to get it to be sturdy and thicker. But if you end up using a dresser like mine and uh, you end up with little holes like these where the handles used to be, just go ahead and put in some caulk or you can go ahead and um, put some spackling instead and then just wait for that to dry smooth it out a little bit and then we're going to paint it in just a minute now i'm going to go in with white paint by apple barrel and i'm going to give this two coats i'm going to give it one coat let it completely dry and then give it the second coat While that's drying, I'm going to start working on the back. So using these angle squares, I picked up two from Dollar Tree. And as you see here, I have the shorter side laying down, if that makes sense. The top part of the back of the bench should be the longer part of the ruler. And then um, you want to make sure they come close together. You want to just lay it down on your board and just see how it's going to look. As you, you can see, my board is going to end up a little bit longer than these two put together. And now just to be sure this ends up being nice and straight, I'm just going to lay it down on the table and using E6000 or Gorilla Glue, I'm going to glue on a ruler just to make sure that it's sturdy. I'm only using a ruler because I don't have any craft sticks on hand right now, but you can definitely use craft sticks. We just want to make sure that this is, stays together and gives it some support. So you can either use a ruler or craft sticks just whatever you have on hand so like i said i'm going to apply some glue onto the back and put that in place and make sure the two rulers onto the bottom the angle squares are nice and close together now i already went ahead and spray painted it white and now i'm just going to go in with either um, e6000 or gorilla glue and i'm just going to glue that to the base itself of the bench so i'm just here i just have some paint bottles onto the back so that way you can stand up nice and straight and i'm going to let that stay and um, set overnight because e6000 does say to wait 24 hours now here i am being a genius <laughs> i thought i can build some sort of support or like legs for the bench using um jenga pieces and that was a total fail so i just wanted to show you that um the jingo pieces isn't going to hold that well so here is my plan b i set my jingo pieces aside after trying it out but here is what i was thinking i was going to have it around just like this and my bench should stay up but it wasn't enough support but i just left this part in a video because when i glue on the little extension of the bench you're going to see some Jenga pieces. I, I wanted to explain why. So that way you're not confused. And here's the part where I put the little extension. I'm going to take two paint sticks. They're the five gallon paint sticks. And I'm just going to measure exactly where um, my wooden piece ends because one stick is not long enough. Do you see here if I want to use one? But um, it depends. This is going to be different from one person to the other, of course, because it depends on your piece of wood that you're using on the bottom. So if your wood piece ends up being long like mine, just go ahead and use two paint sticks and give it a little trim to be exactly the size of the wooden piece. And I'm going to go ahead and paint that as well. This is just a little extra extension to give it that bench look, but you can definitely skip this step if you want to. But here I'm just going to apply some Gorilla Glue and hot glue and I'm going to glue down my paint sticks. 
Before I forget to mention, if you like videos that are straight on point and cute and simple projects like this one, and definitely affordable, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified every time I upload a video. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome. It's great to have you here. Now be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified when I upload a video. Now I'm going to design the backing. So I'm going to use one pack of the rectangle wood planks from Dollar Tree and I'm going to go ahead and paint them all white. And at this point, my kids were helping me paint <laughs> because there was just so much paint going on in this project. So now I'm just going to take those planks and slide them through. But I did apply some Gorilla Glue on the top and the bottom, and I'm going to set my bench aside to dry. Now to create the lakes for this bench, I'm going to take two box frames from Dollar Tree. And I realized if you paint over the design, it doesn't really stick that well. So what I'm doing here is I'm getting a paintbrush wet a little bit, and I'm going to sand off the design that they have in the front. So I'm left with only wood, and then I can go ahead and paint it. Now remember, I only used four planks on the back of the bench, so I'm left with two here. These are going to be the little armrest on the side of the bench. Um, I did put a little bit of Gorilla Glue on the back, like little dots, and I'm just going to have Jenga pieces on the back. Um, I'm going to let that completely dry, and then I'll be setting that on my bench. But while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and glue my bench on to the leg part that I painted earlier. So I'm going to apply some Gorilla Glue and then carry the entire bench and put it on top of these two legs. Make sure they're well spaced out and evenly from the sides as well. And now I'm just going to take my armrest pieces that I've made and then just glue them in place using Gorilla Glue. And then once that's dry, here is how your bench should look. Surprise! <laughs> what do you guys think? I'd love to hear from you, so be sure to stop by the comment section and let me know what you think. I definitely love this bench, and it cost me less than $10 to make, especially that I already had that piece of wood on hand. But if you're curious, the little beaded pumpkins the little beads right there i picked that up from 99 cent store remember my other video i told you there i picked up two and the next day they were all gone but anyway let me know down in the comments what you think i definitely love this bench and i know for a fact that i'll be using this for christmas time as well and i'll just switch out the decor but let me know what you think down in the comments i'd love to hear from you and if you haven't done so yet be sure to subscribe and support my channel i'd appreciate it so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when i make projects like this one and if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more fun diys and make sure to share with your friends thank you all for watching stay safe and i'll see you all next time bye